That's so, so Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Some things are so Pittsburgh. And Donnie Iris, the local musician with hits like Alia and Love is Like a Rock, is one of those Pittsburgh staples. Today, the Elwood City native is rocking our stage. He's here in the PTL studio, and we are celebrating a milestone today, your 80th birthday. Yes. We're so happy that you chose to be here with us to celebrate this big day. Oh, I love it. And I. The cake. I, I know. Can't we can't believe the cake. <laughs> it's a big cake. I don't. We're gonna have to invite more people to this party to help us uh, devour this. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. In fact, we want to mention Ultimate Pastry Shop in Sewickley that made this Donny Iris cake. <laughs> oh, pretty incredible. Pretty uh, incredible. Let's talk about you because you're pretty incredible well, and, thank and you. you continue to perform. In fact, you have a date coming up here, right? Yeah. March 11th, we're playing at Robert Morris UPMC Event Center. Great. And. Um, it's uh, it's almost sold out, so we've got to be got to get some tickets here pretty soon. Um, there's um, it's going to be the Vindies. Have you heard the Vindies yeah. yet? Yeah, they're wonderful. The Clarks, of okay, and us. So it'll be a great night. What is it like to be known as a Pittsburgh staple? I mean, your name is synonymous with the city. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I think uh, I think a lot of the things I did with radio and stuff like that helped help promote that kind of thing yeah so uh, yeah it's been great it's been great I want to ask a specific question because Alia is my favorite of your songs yeah uh, and you know and there's lots to choose from yeah. but I heard in the beginning when that song you were first trying to make it mm -hmm. no label wanted it it was literally radio stations playing it that turned everything is that right yeah it's true um, it started out uh, with one or two local stations starting to play it, and then it just started to explode. We had some people behind us to promote it a little bit. Yeah. And uh, next thing I know, we're on the road. And you know so. what? I was listening to this this morning. It will stick in your head all day, Donnie. I'm going to be all, all day long. I'm going to be Donnie Iris. It's still stuck in my head. So what are you doing for your birthday today? How are you celebrating other than being here with us today? Well, I'm going to go home, probably get back to bed for a while. Yeah, sure. And, we'll uh, yeah. and then later on, I'll probably go out and have some fun. That's great. And what, yeah. Do you have like a special place? Do you have your go-to neighborhood spot? Yeah, I go up at Cranberry. A All lot. Right. A lot. Some good spots up there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have You'll a good out. time tonight. Okay. I'll be out. Well, if you see Donnie, make sure to wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? I, I, I want to talk to you about just uh, some of the amazing things that you've done over the years. You have opened, too, for so many bands. Mm. Like, is there something that sticks out that was a thrill for you that you remember to this day? Oh, man. Yeah, I'd say we, we toured with Loverboy back in the day. Uh huh. And uh, throughout the Midwest, and it was, we had such a good time. All the Midwestern people just looking for something to do, you yeah. know, I mean, this, the Lincoln, Nebraska, this place like that. Um, so we had a great time with Loverboy. Do you think there's any stopping you? Do you have a, an age in your mind where, like, that's going to be your last show? I, Are you doing it forever? I have no idea. I have no idea. I just hope I can keep playing and keep having fun. Yeah. So. At 80 wonderful. years old, though, I, you, I, you look fantastic. Yeah. And, and you know what? And I know you were saying you missed performing during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was about two years before we were able to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have to tell you that we have a very special surprise for you today. Maybe something you didn't know was coming. So mm -hmm. we yeah. have Allegheny County Executive <laughs> Rich Fitzgerald here. My photo was here for official business, <laughs> which I am here it for is. official yeah. business, yeah. but not public safety or economic development or any of those oh, kind of oh things. My God. It is not often yeah. that a Pittsburgh legend turns 80. Oh. Um, and by Pittsburgh, obviously, the whole region. New, born in Newcastle, grew up in Elwood City. Yep. Uh, if we read the whole proclamation, by the way, the whole, your show would be over because we, we'd go through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of words there. He's done so much in his life, and we're not going to re but we're going to re rehash the very end. Whereas, blah, 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 blah. Now, therefore, be resolved that I, Connie Executive Rich Fitzgerald, by virtue of the authority vested in me on behalf of the 1.25 million people in Allegheny County, do, by, do hereby proclaim February 28th, 2023, as Donnie Iris Day in Allegheny County. Oh, you get the whole day. Congratulations. You can swim in any of our pools today. You can play at any of our golf courses, ride the buses. It's all your day. Enjoy. 
In fact, keep we're up looking for lifeguards. So if you're available, <laughs> yes, <this> exactly. <laughs> or we can hire you as a lifeguard. That's exactly right. Oh, thank man. you for what you've done for thank this you, region. Rich. Keep up the great work. Thanks. And enjoy your day. Thanks, right. Rich. I thank appreciate you, Rich. it. Thank you, Rich. We appreciate great. it so much. Right. That was That's fantastic. Nice. Wow. You know what? And we appreciate you yeah. so much. Well, thank, thank you, you for man. choosing to be on the show with thank us today. Thank you very much. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. I had a, birthday. I had a blast. Oh, it's so wonderful to have you here today. <laughs> thank you, honey. Thank right. you. we got to cut into that cake, too. <laughs> All right. There is a big bash planned for Dottie. He mentioned he's going to be on stage with the cruisers coming up Saturday, March 11th at the UPMC Event Center. That is in Moon. Tickets are still available, but as Donnie said, they're selling fast. And we have a link on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.